Ladies and gentlemen, boils and ghouls, welcome to Playing With Powers Halloween Special. Tonight's super spooky episode is brought to you by TCGPlayer.com, where you can find all of your cards online while still supporting local game stores. Dragon Shield, for all the best accessories to protect your spooky decks, and through Patreon, where you get awesome benefits for your spooky support. Tonight's episode is a special one. We picked out the spookiest, scariest CEDH decks we could dig up and played them against one another. There are always different Halloween themes available in the world of Magic, and we use those as the different CEDH decks to play tonight. So, let's start out by showcasing our ghastly fighters this evening. First, we have Zack, piloting Kess, Dissident Mage. This deck's theme is Reanimation from the Grave. It looks to put super scary creatures into the graveyard and then bring them back from the dead to cripple opponents. Zack's opening hand contains a Soul Ring, Talisman of Dominance, Fiery Islet, Reanimate, Marsh Flats, Bloodstained Mire, and his London Mulligan is a Badlands. Next, we have Ryan piloting Edgar Markov. This deck's theme is Vampires and Demons. It seeks to reanimate Razakath and feed multiple vampires to the demon in order to combo off for the win. Ryan's opening hand contains Averted Catacombs, Polluted Delta, Dark Confidant, Sacred Foundry, Chrome Mox, Calling the Weak, and a Talisman of Indulgence. After that, we have Will, piloting Marrow Gnar. This deck's theme is rats, rats, and more rats. It seeks to put out an ever-increasing army of rats and attack for the win or go for one of its combos. Will's opening hand contains a Phyrexian Altar, Thousand Year Elixir, Walking Ballista, Rat Colony, and Three Swamps. Finally, we have Adam, piloting Carador, Ghost Chieftain. This deck's theme is summoning creatures from the dead. It looks to reanimate multiple threats, then assemble a combo to win the game. Adam's opening hand contains a Natural Order, Worldly Tutor, Wild Growth, Avacyn's Pilgrim, Exotic Orchard, Marsh Flats, and his London Mulligan is a Bayou. Without further ado, let's kick off this super spooky spectacle of scary subjects. Zack finds the razor blade while bobbing for apples and gets to start us off. Zack draws a card for turn and then plays a Marsh Flats. He cracks it for a Badlands. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts a Talisman of Dominance. Zack passes. Ryan draws a card for turn and then plays a Badlands. He casts Chrome Mox, imprinting Culling the Weak. He casts Dark Confidant and passes the turn to Will. Will draws a card for turn and then plays a Swamp. He passes. Adam draws a card for turn and then plays a Marsh Flats. He cracks it for a Bayou. He casts Wild Growth on his Bayou and passes the turn to Zack. Zack draws and then plays a Bloodstained Mire for turn. He cracks it for a Volcanic Island. He casts his Commander, casts Dissident Mage. Zack passes. During his upkeep, Ryan reveals an Angel's Grace off of Dark Confidant. He draws and then plays a Burning Catacombs for turn. He casts a Talisman of Indulgence. He attacks Will with his Dark Confidant. Will takes it, and Ryan ends his turn. Will draws, and then plays a Swamp for turn. He casts a Rat Colony. Will passes. Adam draws, and then plays a Mana Confluence for turn. He casts Avacyn's Pilgrim. Adam ends his turn. Zack draws, and then plays a Spire of Industry for turn. He taps his Spire and his Talisman to cast Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. He activates Jace, targeting himself, milling Thassa's Oracle and a Wooded Foothills, and drawing a card. Zack passes. At the end of Zack's turn, Ryan cracks his Vernon Catacombs to fetch up a Scrubland onto the battlefield. During his upkeep, Ryan reveals a Dark Ritual off of Dark Confidant. He draws and then plays a Polluted Delta for turn. Ryan passes. Will draws and then plays a Swamp for turn. He casts another Rat Colony. He attacks Adam with one of his Rat Colonies. Adam takes it and Will passes the turn. At the end of Will's turn, Adam taps his Mana Confluence to cast Worldly Tutor. He fetches up a Carrion Feeder onto the top of his library and then moves to his turn. Adam draws and then plays an Exotic Orchard for turn. He casts Carrion Feeder. He follows up with a Trenosphere. The table sighs and Adam passes the turn. Zack draws and then plays a Verdant Catacombs for turn. He cracks it for an Underground Sea. He activates Jace, targeting himself. He mills Deceiver Exarch and Fire Covenant and then draws a card. He casts Fire Covenant from his graveyard through Cast, paying 6 life, and targets Dark Confidant, both Rat Colonies, Avacyn's Pilgrim, and Carrion Feeder twice for good measure. With no responses, the majority of the board is white. Next, he attacks Ryan with Cass. Ryan takes it, and Zack passes the turn. At the end of Zack's turn, Ryan cracks his Polluted Delta to fetch up a Godless Shrine onto the battlefield tapped. Ryan draws, and starts off his turn by casting Viscera Seer. Edgar Markov's Eminence triggers, and Ryan creates a 1-1 Vampire. Then Viscera Seer resolves. He plays a Sacred Foundry untapped, paying 2 life. Ryan passes. Will draws, and then plays a Phyrexian Tower for turn. He casts Phyrexian Altar. The table acknowledges the first combo piece on board, and Will passes the turn. Adam draws, takes no actions, and passes. Zack draws, and then plays a Fiery Islet for turn. 
he activates Jace, targeting himself. He halts priority and casts Demonic Consultation. It resolves, he names Hypnox, and he exiles his entire library. With Jace's ability still in the stack, Ryan casts Angel's Grace with Split Second. It resolves, then Jace's ability resolves, Zack goes to draw a card, but doesn't win the game. All finished up, Zack passes. During Ryan's upkeep, in order to prevent Zack from trying something to win, Ryan casts Silence. In response, Zack casts Swan Song, countering the spell. Still in the upkeep, Zack cracks his Fiery Islet to draw a card and wins the game through Jace. What a super spooky game that was. Let's do another, shall we? In this game, Ryan brings back Edgar Markov, and his opening hand contains a Mox Diamond, Scarlet and Tarn, Arcane Signet, Snow-Covered Swamp, Liliana Standard Bearer, Cabal Therapist, and a Dark Confidant. Will brings back Marinar this game, and his opening hand contains a Vampiric Tutor, Mox Diamond, Ancient Tomb, Scroll Rack, Rack Colony, Metallic Mimic, and a Swamp. Adam brings back Carador this game, and his opening hand contains a Recruiter of the Guard, Diabolic Intent, Vampiric Tutor, Savannah, High Market, Bountiful Promenade, and his London Mulligan is a Gaia's Cradle. Zack brings back Kess this game, and his opening hand contains a Snow-Covered Island, Mana Confluence, Morphic Pool, Preordain, Mox Opal, Ancient Tomb, and a Talisman of Creativity. Ryan gets a full-size Snickers in his trick-or-treat bag and gets to start us off. Ryan draws and then plays a Snow-Covered Swamp for turn. He casts a Mox Diamond, discarding a Scalding Tarn. He casts Dark Confidant. Ryan passes. Will draws and then plays an Ancient Tomb for turn. He taps his Ancient Tomb to cast Metallic Mimic. Mimic enters and Will names Rat. All through, Will passes. Adam draws and then plays a Bountiful Promenade for turn. Adam passes. Zack draws and also plays an Ancient Tomb for turn. He taps his Ancient Tomb to cast Talisman of Creativity. He taps his Talisman to cast Preordain. He scries two and draws a card. He casts a Mox Opal and gives the turn to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan reveals a Vampiric Tutor off of Dark Confidant. He draws and then plays a Sacred Foundry, untapped, paying two life. He casts an Arcane Signet. He casts Cabal Therapist. He attacks Zack with his Dark Confidant. Zack takes it and Ryan passes the turn. Will draws and then plays a Swamp for turn. He casts a Mox Diamond, discarding a Swamp. He taps his Ancient Tomb to help cast Rat Colony. It enters with an additional plus one plus one counter through Metallic Mimic. He casts another Rat Colony, also entering with a plus one plus one counter. He attacks Zack with his Metallic Mimic. Zack takes it and Will passes the turn. Adam draws and then plays a Savannah for turn. He casts an Arbor Elf. Adam passes. Zack draws and then plays a Morphic Pool for turn. He taps his Ancient Tomb and his Talisman to help cast Narset, Harder of Veils. He activates Narset, looking at the top four and revealing a Mystical Tutor. Zack passes the turn. During his upkeep, Ryan reveals an Enlightened Tutor off of Dark Confidant. He draws and then plays a Sunbaked Canyon for turn. He casts Ranger Captain of Eos. Captain enters and Ryan fetches up a Viscera Seer into his hand. He casts Viscera Seer. Edgar Markov's Eminence triggers and Ryan creates a 1-1 Vampire. Then Viscera Seer resolves. Ryan attacks Narset with Cabal Therapist and Dark Confidant, killing Narset. All through, Ryan passes. Will draws and starts off his turn by tapping his Ancient Tomb to cast Piper of the Swarm, giving all rats menace. He attacks Adam and Zack with a rat colony each. Both take it and Will passes the turn. Adam draws and starts off his turn by casting Recruiter of the Guard. It resolves, Recruiter triggers, and Adam fetches up a Hermit Druid into his hand, which worries the entire table. He plays a high market for turn and passes to Zack. During his upkeep, Zack casts Mystical Tutor. He fetches up a Wheel of Fortune onto the top of his library. This is a big problem for Ryan as he really likes his hand. So, still in Zack's upkeep, Ryan decides to sacrifice his Ranger Captain of Eos, preventing his opponents from casting any non-creature spells this turn. Zack draws and then plays a Mana Confluence for turn. He does nothing else and passes. At the end of Zack's turn, Ryan taps his Sunbaked Canyon to cast Enlightened Tutor. He fetches up an Animate Dead onto the top of his library and then moves to his turn. During his upkeep, Ryan reveals an Animate Dead off of his Dark Confidant. Still in his upkeep, Ryan casts Vampiric Tutor. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. He draws for turn and in his first main phase, Cabal Therapist triggers. He sacrifices Cabal Therapist to itself and Ryan chooses himself as the target. Ryan names Razaketh the Foulblooded as the card. He reveals his hand, which is a Razaketh Animate Dead, and Liliana Standard Bearer. He then discards Razaketh. Ryan casts Animate Dead. It resolves, and Ryan brings back Razaketh the Foulblooded from his graveyard. 
He pays two life and activates Raxacath, sacrificing Dark Confidant, and searches up a card into his hand. He casts Lion's Eye Diamond. He cracks his Lion's Eye Diamond, discarding his hand and adding three black. He activates Razakath, sacrificing his Vampire token, paying two life, and searches up another card into his hand. He casts Vampire Cutthroat. Edgar Markov's Eminence triggers, and Ryan creates a 1-1 Vampire. Then Cutthroat resolves. Ryan activates Razakath, paying two life, and sacrificing a Vampire token to search up another card. He casts Vampire of the Dire Moon. Markov's Eminence triggers, and Ryan creates another 1-1 Vampire. Ryan activates Razakath three more times, sacrificing his Vampire token, Vampire Cutthroat, and Vampire of the Dire Moon, paying two life each time, and searches up three more cards into his hand. He casts Songs of the Damned, adding five black to his pool. He casts Blood Artist. Markov triggers, and Ryan creates a 1-1 Vampire. Ryan then taps his Sunbaked Canyon to cast Leonin Relic Warder. Relic Warder enters, and Ryan exiles Animate Dead. Animate Dead triggers, and Ryan sacrifices Razakath. Blood Artist triggers, and Ryan pings Zack for one. Ryan sacrifices Leon and Relic Warder to Viscera Seer, triggering Blood Artist and pinging Zack for one again. When Relic Warder leaves, Animate Dead enters. Ryan targets Leon and Relic Warder in his graveyard. Relic Warder enters, and Ryan exiles Animate Dead again. When Animate Dead leaves, it triggers, and Leon and Relic Warder is sacrificed, triggering Blood Artist and pinging Zack again. Ryan presents a loop of reanimating and sacrificing Relic Warder over and over, pinging each opponent until the table is dead. Vampires and Demons dominated that game, and the table is ready for more. Will brings back Marinar this game, and his opening hand contains a Sword of Fire and Ice, Soul Ring, three Rat Colonies, and two Swamps. Adam brings back Carador this game, and his opening hand contains a Boonweaver Giant, Thoughtseize, Wild Growth, Arbor Elf, Finehorn Elves, Godless Shrine, and a Windswept Heat. Zack brings back Kess this game, and his opening hand contains a Mental Misstep, Volcanic Island, Chrome Box, Arcane Signet, Felwar Stone, Jace Friend's Prodigy, and his London Mulligan is a Demir Signet. Ryan brings back Edgar Markov this game, and his opening hand contains a Felwar Stone, Mana Confluence, Blood Crypt, Peer into the Abyss, Vampire of the Dire Moon, Necropotence, and a Red Elemental Blast. Will wins the Halloween Costume Contest and gets to start us off. Will draws and then plays a Swamp for turn. He casts a Soul Ring. Will passes. Adam draws and then plays a Windswept Teeth for turn. He cracks it for a Bayou. He casts an Arbor Elf, and then passes the turn to Zack. Zack draws, and then plays a Volcanic Island. He casts a Chrome Mox, imprinting Mental Misstep. He casts Jace, Friend's Prodigy. Zack passes. Ryan draws, and starts off his turn by casting Crookshank Cabalds. He plays a Blood Crypt, and to play Untapped, paying two life. He casts Vampire of the Dire Moon. Edgar Markov's Eminence triggers, and Ryan creates a 1-1 Vampire. Ryan passes the turn. Will draws, and then plays a Swamp for turn. He casts Rat Colony. He follows up with another Rat Colony. Will passes. Adam draws and then casts a Wild Growth on his Bayou. He casts Finehorn Elves. He plays a Godless Shrine into play tapped. He casts Thought Seize, targeting Zack. He looks at Zack's hand and makes him discard Arcane Signet and then loses two life. With nothing else, Adam passes. Zack draws and starts off his turn by activating Jace, drawing and discarding. He plays a Morphic Pool for turn. He casts a Felwar Stone. Zack passes the turn. Ryan draws and then plays a Caves of Koilos for turn. He also casts a Felwar Stone. He attacks Zack with Vampire of the Dire Moon and his Vampire Token. Zack takes it, and Ryan gains one life from the Vampire of the Dire Moon. Ryan ends his turn. Will draws, and then plays a Phyrexian Tower for turn. He casts a Sword of Fire and Ice. He equips Sword of Fire and Ice to Rat Calling, which is a really funny image if you think about it. Imagine, like, a rat just trying to wield a massive... Anyway, he attacks Zack with a Rat Colony and Ryan with a rat holding a sword. Both take it, Swords triggers, Will draws a card, and he deals two damage to Zack's Jace, killing it. With nothing else, Will passes. Adam draws, and then starts off his turn by casting Academy Rector. Everyone knows that this is a real problem to deal with, and Adam passes the turn. Zack draws, and then plays a Marsh Flats for turn. He casts his Commander, casts Dissident Mage. Zack passes. Ryan draws, and then plays a Mana Confluence for turn. He casts a Talisman of Indulgence. He attacks Will with his Vampire token. Will takes it, and Ryan passes the turn. Will draws, and then plays a Swamp for turn. He cast a Grindstone, which nobody saw coming at this table. It resolves, and he follows up by casting a Mana Crypt. He activates Grindstone, targeting himself, milling two lands. He attacks Adam with a Rat Colony, and Zack with a Sewer Dweller holding a Scimitar. After attacks are declared, that's when Will remembers that Adam has an Academy Rector on the table. 
Adam blocks with his Academy Rector. Rector dies, Zack takes the damage, Swords triggers, and Rector triggers. Adam exiles Rector and fetches up a Necropotence onto the battlefield. Swords trigger resolves, and Adam taps Arbor Elf to untap Bayou, Will draws, and then Arbor Elf dies. With nothing else, Will passes the turn. On his turn, Adam skips his draw due to Necropotence. In his main phase, he activates Necropotence five times, paying five life and exiling five cards. He moves to his end step and puts the Necro cards into his hand. Zack then cracks his Marsh Flats to fetch up a Watery Grave onto the battlefield tap. Then Adam discards the hand size, exiling the discarded cards. Zack draws and then plays the City of Brass for turn. He does nothing else and passes. Ryan draws and then plays a Plateau for turn. He attacks Will with his Vampire Token. Will takes it and Ryan passes the turn. At the end of Ryan's turn, Will casts Entomb. He fetches up a Painter's Servant into his graveyard, which is a massive problem for this table. During his upkeep, Will loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and starts off his turn by casting Animate Dead. It resolves and Will reanimates Painter's Servant. Servant enters and Will names the color black. He casts another Rat Colony. He attacks Zack with a worm tail holding the weapon. Zack takes it, Swords triggers, and Will targets Ryan's Vampire of the Dire Moon. In response to the ability, Zack flashes in a Notion Thief. In response, Ryan casts Red Elemental Blast, countering the Notion Thief. Then the Swords resolves, Will draws, and the Vampire dies. In his second main phase, Will plays a Cavern of Souls for turn, naming Rat. Will passes the turn. On his turn, Adam skips his draw due to Necropotence. He plays a Bountiful Promenade for turn. He casts a Mox Diamond, discarding Horizon Canopy, exiling it through Necropotence. He casts a Dranith Magistrate. He casts Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. Adam then activates Necropotence one time, paying one life. He passes priority, wondering if Will will grindstone him out or not. It resolves, and Adam exiles the card from the top of his library. He activates Necropotence five more times, paying five life and exiling five cards. He moves to his end step, puts the Necro cards into his hand, and then discards the hand size, exiling the discarded cards. Zack draws and then casts an Is It Signet. Zack passes. Ryan draws and then plays a Godless Shrine into play untapped, paying two life. He casts Peer Into the Abyss. Seeing this is the time to act, Will responds by activating Grindstone, targeting Ryan. Ryan mills too, and since they share a color through Painter's Servant, he repeats the process, milling his entire library. Then Peer Into the Abyss resolves, Ryan draws no cards because his library is empty, and loses half of his life rounded up. With no other actions, and pretty much out of the game, Ryan passes. During his upkeep, Will wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws for turn, and then starts off by casting Helm of the Host. He casts a Rat Colony. He attacks Adam with all of his Rat Colonies, including the small vermin with the Saber. Adam blocks one of the non-armed rats with his fine horn elves. Adam takes the rest, Swords triggers, Will draws, and then shocks Ryan's vampire token, killing him. With nothing else, Will passes. On his turn, Adam skips his draw due to Necropotence. In his main phase, he casts Elvish Mystic. He then casts Elves of Deep Shadow. He plays a Gaia Reach Sanitarium for turn. He activates Necropotence four times, paying four life and exiling four cards. He moves to his end step and puts the Necro cards into his hand. He then discards the hand size, exiling the discarded cards. During Zack's upkeep, Will activates Grindstone, targeting Zack. Zack then mills his entire library. Zack moves to draw step, attempts to draw from an empty library, and loses the game. Ryan untaps, moves to draw, attempts to draw through an empty library, and also loses the game. At the end of Ryan's turn, Adam casts Force of Vigor, exiling a green card and destroying Will's Fire and Ice and Grindstone. During his upkeep, Will wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws for turn and starts off by equipping Helm of the Host onto Rat Colony. He activates Phyrexian Tower, sacrificing his Painter's Servant and adding two black. He casts Wishclaw Talisman. He activates Talisman, fetching up a card into his hand and giving the Talisman to Adam. He casts Piper of the Swarm, giving all of his rats menace. He moves to combat, triggering Helm of the Host and creating another Rat Colony. He attacks Adam with all of his Rat Colonies. In response, Adam activates Gyre Reach Sanitarium, hoping to find an answer. They each draw and discard a card. Sadly, Adam didn't find anything he wanted, takes all the damage, and Will wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed our Halloween special. It is commonly stated that CEDH cannot have fun themes or special tricks in the decks that are built, but hopefully tonight's episode showed that there is still plenty of room for creativity in the CEDH environment. 
you can still express yourself with fun themes while still having powerful strategies to help win at CEDH tables. We had an absolute blast playing with these decks, and we hope you give them a try as well. The deck lists are in the description below. Well, that about wraps it up for our super fun and super scary Halloween special. Please consider supporting us on Patreon so we can keep bringing super fun gameplay like this one to you week after week. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the spooky CDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.